difference between correct sentence structure and say, for example, going into a, a foreign vessel and dry dock like that using common law with uh, adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble is that you have closure on the grammar and the terms and conditions of what you're doing. And you have such a depth of closure on it that you're willing to sit there and teach, literally put on a class for everyone in that courtroom if they ask for it. Oh, yeah. That's oh, the yeah. depth of closure that you have on your terms. Yeah. Yep. I just wanted to point that out, that that's really important when you use it. Because I know a lot of people, just to be blunt about it, think they can go off hack cocked. And this is like some magic silver bullet that if you just use this template from this certain book or that you bought for from this certain person and, and use it, it's probably not going to end up very well for you. You have to know the grammar. Right, right, right. And, and, and they won't back down because they, they, they don't want a situation where the, the judge walk out and um, leave, leave the court. So they'll, they'll use everything in their power to, to they, they, like I said, man, they, they use so many different tactics, call me coercion, all of that. But like I said, watch my signature, give me uh, uh, warrants for no reason, uh, high bail. I didn't give a, I, I didn't, I didn't care. Every time I had a court date and that's what motivated me to study even more and, and longer and harder and to the point that I really didn't, didn't care. I'm, I'm going in there. I don't, I didn't, I don't even have anybody with me. When I do. That's how, that's Which how. Which is amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Cause...